Hello, in this tutorial I will explain how AlarmPad works inside Tasker. I got several questions from people who were asking me can you explain that. It's quite easy, so I'm doing a little tutorial about that. So as you know, you can control all your alarms with AlarmPad. You can set manually alarms like that. Let me open AlarmPad. Okay, and you can create new alarms by clicking on the plus icon. You can set some different settings inside your your alarm etc etc here in this interface you can set alarms on or off but in this tutorial I will talk how you can control all those alarms inside your tasker so let me open tasker right now and here I'm inside tasker I created the task called alarm pad let me open that and you will see here three actions one is alarm pad get variables then we have a flash and then we have another flash okay let me explain what's happening right here here I'm getting all the variables from alarm pad how can you do that just by clicking on the plus icon then you click on plugin here and then you see here alarm pad get variables run action set alarm and set variable in this case i'm using the get variables so let me open that right now and you will see here a pencil button click on that and then you can see all the alarms right here in this case i have only one alarm and that's friday at nine o'clock 15 and the label of that alarm is work you can work with this alarm or you can work with the next occurring alarm for this example i'm gonna use this alarm so let me check that once i have checked that i can use the test button when i click on the test button you will see all the variables related to this alarm let's click on that and you see here for example last no latitude longitude alarm id is active label has time year month day hour minute short weekday long weekday yes left etc etc you can scroll down and then you will see more variables as well so as you see it's quite easy to work with those let me cancel that and let's go back to our task right now okay i'm back inside the task and i can use those variables for example for example let me open that here i'm using the variable label as you remember the label was for that alarm work and is set at hour and minute the next flash is the remaining time the remaining time to that alarm is days left day hours left hours minutes left minutes it's quite easy to use those variables so let me run the task work alarm is set at 9 o'clock and 15 and one day 18 hours etc etc so as you see it's not difficult to use those so what you saw was retrieving information of alarms so let's do another Another thing with alarm pad so let's click on the plus button plug in and you will see here run action and let me open that you can configure that as well pencil button and you will see here run action for ID and as you know the ID was number three my work alarm so I can set here number three and check mark this or I can use also this method by checking this alarm if you don't know the ID so you can use the action toggle status enable disable run skip delete so for example i gonna run that for testing so i choose run and i can choose this alarm for example let's accept that go back i'm gonna disable all the other things okay so i have only this action active let's play that Okay, we have also another action inside Tasker that I will explain. So click on the plus button again, choose plugins and then choose for example set alarm. Click on the pencil button again and then you can set your own alarm. You can set an hour as a variable, you can set a minute as a variable and you also it's possible to set a custom date. When you use that, it can also use variables. But I don't have to explain how to work with variables. 
variables okay then you can set also a message and then you can accept so in this case you can easily set an alarm by speaking for example if you use auto voice you can use the variables inside trigger commands and use this here okay let's cancel this so those are the main actions using alarm path also you have another action plus plugins and then we have here alarm path set variable you can set some variables by clicking the pencil button again and then you can set here a variable name and then you can set time in milliseconds of the alarm or readable time of alarm then you can choose the ID of the alarm or you can choose the next occurring alarm or the alarm that is set inside your alarm pad okay let's go back let's cancel this and let's go back to our main task so as you saw those were the actions inside your task also you can do stuff with one alarm pad is trigger and you can find that inside the profiles so let's click on profiles and then you can set different things as you see here I have some events of alarm pad so using events of alarm pad is also quite easy you can do the plus button choose event and then choose plugin and then you will see here alarm pad event click on that and click on the pencil button again and you will see here when the alarm is triggered do something when the alarm is snoozed dismissed set or disabled when you choose one of those the test that you will link to this will be executed in this case it will be triggered by any alarm or you can also restrict an alarm when you click on that you can say for example when alarm is dismissed only from this alarm do something else then click on the accept button and then link your test to that so as you see it's very easy to use that plugin inside tasker it makes sense it's easy to understand so those are the triggers you can use inside task also remember with alarm pad you can do more stuff for example let me open alarm pad okay i'm here inside alarm pad and i can edit that alarm by clicking the pencil button again and for example you can set it every week you can set it every day every month or you can set do not repeat you can give it a label also you can configure the settings of that that alarm for example greeting current time weather forecast my calendar entries etc etc and you can choose your ringtone of course you can choose vibrate continue after dismiss you can speak the message with the alarm you can choose the dismiss button and you can use also restrict to location so as you see you have many different options with this alarm so those are the possibilities of using alarm pads in my case I control all my alarms inside tasker it's quite easy so I can automate my phone using this plugin also you see here I create a notification this is a persistent notification using auto notification and you will see here alarm pads that's the title and the text is the next occurring alarm and then we have also an icon right here and when I slide down that notification you will see here also two buttons set alarm and cancel alarm so when an alarm is deleted it will update this notification when alarm is set it will update this notification when alarm is dismissed it will update this notification etc etc so with this one I can easily know when the next alarm is set and I can set here manually an alarm or cancel the next alarm so when when I click right here I will get a new scene for setting an alarm when I use this one it will cancel the next alarm when I click on this notification itself it will open the main interface of alarm pad so this is how it works on my phone if you like it give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my Google Plus community and see you next time bye